Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here again and welcome back to my channel. So I've been using the latest Samsung Galaxy A22 5G for almost two weeks already. This is Samsung's most affordable 5G phone in Malaysia, selling for 999 ringgit. So I'll be giving my most honest opinion on the A22 in this video, the good and the bad. So let's get started guys. A special thanks to Omaya Store for providing me with this review unit. Omaya Store is a mobile phone shop center in Klang Valley. Operating for more than 20 years in SS2 Penang Jaya, Omaya Store is your one-stop solution for mobile phones and tablet. You guys can check it out their official Facebook page. Type in Omaya Store or log on to their official website at www.omaya.com.my. First, let's talk about the overall build. The back and the frame are actually made of plastic but it feels solid in the hand. There's no hollow feel when you tap it. And this violet color back also favorite color to some of the female users out there from the feedback that I gathered. But the weight is at 203 gram and the thickness at nine millimeter might be a bit uncomfortable for some people. So my advice for you guys is to test it out the demo unit first before purchasing. The next one is the display. The A22 5G has a 1080p, Full HD+, Plus, TFT, LCD. Yes, the color is not as great as AMOLED screen, but the display still look nice and pleasant. It doesn't look cheap at all. Watching content is still enjoyable at the 6.6 inch big screen. This display also supports 90Hz of refresh rate, which makes scrolling more enjoyable. My complaint is that the dewdrop notch here is actually quite outdated, and the bezel surrounding the screen is so huge, especially at the chin here, which can be a bit distracting sometimes to me. So guys, as you can see here, I have my latest Realme Q3 and my Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro here. So obviously you can see that the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G here in the middle actually has a much bigger chin compared to these two phones. The A22 5G has a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset to power the phone. I've used other phones with Dimensity 700 SoC and they perform nicely on medium setting. Similar thing on this A22, I played Genshin Impact at 30 FPS, PUBG on small ultra setting, and Xbox 9 at 30 FPS. No issue at all. Daily tasks on other normal apps also run smoothly. No issue. Just that I experienced some frame drop issue when watching Netflix on this phone. So I hope that future updates can actually solve this issue. As for the triple camera style at the back, the A22 5G has a 48 megapixel main shooter, 5 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. There's no macro lens, but I'm glad that Samsung include ultra wide camera instead of macro lens in this phone, which I think is very handy and more practical. Under normal lighting condition, the photos are decent, and the night mode also get the job done for the main shooter only. There's no night mode for the ultra wide lens, and the stabilizer when doing video recording also decent. Battery life on this phone is actually okay. Although there's a 5000 mAh battery on this phone, I only managed to get around 6 hours plus of screen on time with one and a half day battery life with normal use without gaming. If you put the phone on standby with internet data on for 8 hours all night, around 6% battery will drop. With gaming, the screen on time is shortened to 4 hours plus. And if the battery runs bad, the 15 watt fast charger is able to top up the phone battery under 3 hours time from 0 to 100%, which I think is a bit slow in the year 2021. Guys, this phone only has one single bottom firing speaker at the bottom here. So let's do a speaker test and you guys uh, comment on the speaker output. So bump up the volume to the max. So 
So what do you guys think? To me, the sound output is actually a bit average. So there you go guys, my full review on the latest Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. To be honest, it has decent cameras and decent performance. And if you really want a Samsung phone with 5G for less than 1000 ringgit Malaysia, this is actually a nice mid-ranger to get. If you can neglect the bezel around the screen and the slightly heavier weight and the thick size. Do let me know if you have any questions and comments. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace guys.